guys welcome back to my channel my name is Bia welcome if you guys are new I thought I would grab the camera today because I had some time right now I'm actually waiting to leave to go do something really exciting for my lash business and that is I am going to go take a course on how to be a lash educator I am so excited to do this that was one of my goals for 2020 and I just can't believe that it's actually, after all that's happened this year, still coming true. I feel so fortunate and lucky to be able to do this, to have this opportunity to have come across this training program it was like a heaven sent, it's close by, and I just am so beyond grateful that I found her and I just am really, really excited for my future as a lash trainer, lash educator. I'm gonna be doing online training for you guys. I am just kind of taking this whole doing lashes on myself and other people to another level. I'm really, really excited about it. I hope you guys are excited too because this just means so much more opportunity for me and for you guys. I'll be able to share online courses. I'll be able to do live streams and actually just kind of have a certificate to back me up to be a lash educator. Right now I am a lash artist, I have one certification, everything I pretty much taught myself over the years. Some people go out and get like four or five different certifications and that's totally fine but for myself I just have such a passion for it that I've taught myself so many things and now I'll be able to teach all of you guys all of my ways and how to get clients how to do social media i can wrap all of that into one and it all like just seems like it's all coming together and making such sense now i hope you guys are excited for what's to come i can't wait to post more videos hopefully i'll be able to show you guys some more actual lash sets on my clients and i can't wait to connect with some of you guys in like live live sessions and just to like meet some of the people that watch me already if you sign up for one of my online lash courses but i'll know more and how i'll be doing everything i guess later on today i do have a website it's called lashes by bia i just made that within the last month i'm very excited that i got to launch that where i have lash cleansers and brushes and wands for sale if you guys haven't checked it out you guys really should mind most of my training is going to be done at bia.dgp on Instagram it's just easier for me to do it on that one that I've been using all along I have more followers on there so if you guys want to follow along that would make my day so check that all out there so I'm just waiting to leave to go see um, this person that's teaching and I'm really excited to meet her she is very um, accredited and just popular I guess in this area and she does training like all over the place which is just so cool and inspiring to be able to connect with somebody who's made this business a very successful one for themselves i like to always say to you guys surround yourself with positive people with people that do better than you people that aspire inspire you to do more people that make you want to aspire to be more and it's just all around really important who you surround yourself with if you're surrounding yourself with people that are always negative and bring you down, make you sad, or involve you in drama, it is going to distract from all of your goals. 2020 has been a crazy year, but I am living proof that you can make the best out of it with very little. And honestly, lashes did get shut down and it was pretty sad, but we came back, we came back strong, and I think people are starting to come around again with wanting to get their lashes done too. A lot of people are still apprehensive I've noticed and so yeah we'll see how it goes so since I don't really have anything to show you guys yet for my lash training but I want to make this video because I obviously wanted to tell you guys I wanted to update you but I also want to show you guys my setup for my other business I've been getting so many questions about it on how I do it the machinery that I use for it, I would say, um, is what you guys called it, and I am gonna go over that right now. If you guys are new here, the business that I have is a clothing line. I have an online clothing store. It is a faith clothing store. Um, pretty much, I just started to create this like faith clothing brand on the side because I wasn't doing lashes, and I just wanted to have a little like project, a faith project that I could work on where I could reach people, and so. 
that is what that is it's called because i am his and the website is because i am his.com so what i do is i basically source t-shirts and then once i found a certain cut or type that i like i will print certain like faith quotes or just like anything faith related on there so in order to get started with those t-shirts what i did is i looked online for a supplier for t-shirts there are so many so that's definitely not hard to find at all you want to find somebody who um who is a good price if you want to order large quantities you also probably want to make sure you can find somebody who does not expect large quantities when you first start um, but that's something you'll have to just kind of like look and see who you can find and now I'm going to show you guys all the things that I used to print on these shirts. The first thing that I needed to get was a Cricut and a Cricut is basically a vinyl cutter so when you see like those stickers and prints and whatever it is actually vinyl or sticker paper where you can cut like your sticker out so pretty much to print something on a shirt you would cut out the font so you get the program, it's called Cricut, and then there is a Cricut printer that you can like put vinyl in and it'll cut whatever sticker you want it to print. And then the vinyl is a sticky material, so then you just like peel it off, put it onto the shirt or wherever you're doing, the mug or whatever uh, material that you have, and then you would heat press it on. So I'll show you the printer that I got. I don't really want to show you too much of my setup because it is so messy right now. I've done so much work lately that I have not had time to really clean up at the moment. It's Christmas time and I'm just kind of working on a lot of things. But I have this setup in my closet. I needed to keep the room completely clutter free from any clutter. So I just shoved everything in the closet. I put my desk in here as you can see. And here is my Cricut printer just opens up like this and then here you can see that is for the printing it is the I guess the cutting knife is in here and you you feed the I'll show you so this is basically the board that gets fed into here and you would put the vinyl on top of this and it cuts the vinyl out and then you can just peel it off of this and transfer it over onto your shirt that you're doing so you would get this on Amazon or anywhere I guess and then you need some vinyl so this is the vinyl that I have I got this off of Amazon I get all of my vinyls on Amazon I'm pretty sure I have everything for the store linked on Amazon as well there's some affiliate links if you want to see what I use you can purchase it through my Amazon store I have that link down below I'm pretty sure it's Amazon dot com slash shop slash bia bia and you'll be able to see the vinyl that i use to start with don't go crazy with all the colors i got black and white um and that's really what i started with and then the more money that i had or made i bought a few different colors i also done a printing project for a youth group for a church and they asked me if i could do some blue so i got blue Recently I got some gray, which I have not yet put on a shirt. I will probably do that soon. And I'm gonna show you guys the heat press that I use. So this heat press is still sitting out because I was using it recently. Um, this is what it looks like. This swivels. So it goes like that. You put your shirt in here and then you put this over top of the vinyl. So you put the shirts, You this basically, so it's a press. So you put your shirt in here flat, then you put your vinyl on top and then you put this as a guard so that it doesn't stick to the, the ceiling of this um, press, the top of the press. And then you just fold, fold this over, push this back in and then because it is a press, you can just press this down. And then there is a timer, timer heat setting and everything right here, and it presses your vinyl on your shirt and it actually turns out really amazing. So naturally, when you first start out, you do wanna make sure that you're testing your product. So what I did is I made some shirts and I did mess it up at first. I bought the wrong vinyl. It was not heat transfer vinyl that would like go onto shirts. It was vinyl that you could just like stick onto like mugs or whatever else and so i did make that mistake but i learned quickly when i put it into the dryer and washer they started to peel so luckily i had not st started selling anything yet and then i found the right vinyl and honestly my shirts have been going strong since the summer I wear them all the time it's pretty much almost everything that i wear the only thing is something that i've printed on because i want to make a statement with them 
obviously I want to self promote so you're gonna be wearing your own clothes you gotta make sure it's a good quality I've thrown them into the dryer and everything and they are still amazing so I hope that helps you guys out with what I use what machinery I use for printing my shirts I recently just made these actually which I'm really happy with I like them a lot they say saved by grace you can find them on the website as well it's because I'm his.com um, I made them with a kids matching kids hoodie I think I am going to be doing more of a like child focus and then a few that will match um, adults so here is the kids version Saved by Grace looks exactly the same if you're looking for some matching sets that's what you can find there I'm gonna be gearing it more towards that because I just find so much joy in what my kids wear all day and I just find that they are more stylish than myself so I want them to just look their best and I just find it easier to take pictures of them they always look cute I am more critical of myself so I don't want to be the one in the pictures and it's just easier um, to make their clothes it's less fabric to work with and just overall brings me more joy I did have a little season of not feeling so much joy in making these shirts and I didn't know really what route I wanted to take so I just wanted to encourage you guys any business that you start is going to have these like drought periods in it where you're not sure if you should continue or you feel like you've put your all in and you've started something and you were going so strong and all of a sudden you're lacking motivation just see that as a time of growth and restructuring maybe even of niching down that's kind of what i feel like i'm doing with taking it more into like the kids clothing line um it's like niching down and trying to find a different audience moms parents that want to match for pictures and stuff like that so that is currently bringing me more joy and that's kind of the direction that i want to take everything in so i do have a bunch of stock that i probably will be reducing soon price wise so that i can just sell out of it and then start to create more like matching sets of adult and kids so now that i showed you guys all the supplies that i use for making shirts i hope you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up if you liked it if you guys want to see more behind the scenes business stuff definitely way more is coming my main business is just about to take off because i have a whole new thing that i have to plan out for it all that online training and stuff like i'm just really really excited covid ta taught me to never put all your eggs in one basket and that's what I'm doing this year I am just being super versatile with my income I have a few different streams of it and they all combine to make one bigger income so I highly recommend that thank you so much for watching this video thank you for subscribing and for giving me a platform on here I will talk to you guys in my next video bye